In the book of First Samuel, um, we have the story of Hannah. Hannah is barren. She can't have children. And she prays and makes a vow to the Lord in the temple. And God blesses her with children. And so she rejoices and she says this prayer. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, and my horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. So one of the themes that first jumps out here is Hannah's ability to communicate. And so the mouth is enlarged over mine enemies is a reference to her ability to communicate um, and to and to praise the Lord. Okay. There is none holy beside none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more exceedingly proudly, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. So here the argument continues about communication and and she's urging us to not communicate wickedly, not communicate proudly or arrogantly, that we need to be humble. Because God is a God of knowledge. And the, so the theme of communication and also the theme of humility in the face of God's power is going to be another theme in this prayer. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry ceased. So that the barren hath borne seven, and she that hath many children is waxed feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. This is a reference to resurrection and God's ability to even conquer death. So we shouldn't be proud, not only because, um, because God is, is good, but God's also just extraordinarily more powerful and he will exalt the humble and he is also more powerful than the strongest person. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the thrones of glory. Uh, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. I really like this verse. And I especially like that phrase that the wicked shall be silent in darkness. They'll lose their ability to communicate, whether that's through death or or just they'll lose the ability to speak, but they will be silent in darkness. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. So that's a reference to Jesus Christ, that God, um, that God will give strength um, to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. So Christ is the anointed one and he is the strong one. And by our personal strength, we cannot prevail. By strength shall no man prevail.